Hello, this is Mike again from Scratch, and welcome to some breaking news. Uh, when something happens in the world of Unity, it's generally a pretty big deal because this is probably the world's most popular game engine. And when they change their pricing, you know something's going to happen. And that's exactly what happened today. Right now, Unity has their developer conference, Unite Europe, going on, and they just announced changing to their pricing. And this change is going to, well, let's put it frankly, for many people, do nothing. For some people, really suck. And for a very small group, actually get better. So it all kind of depends on which slot you fall into. But for the most part, if I'm all honest, these pricing changes are not a net good thing. For some people, you're going to be a winner. But for most people, not so much. Now, if you don't happen to be up to date on Unity, I actually just did a five-minute game engine review on the Unity engine. I will link that down below. So if you want to get an idea of what we're actually talking about here, just watch that. Like I said, it's five minutes. Um, all right, without further ado, let's jump in. Now, it probably makes sense to start with their existing pricing so we can understand what you pay now versus what you're going to pay going forward. And right now, there's basically two tiers of Unity. There's the Personal Edition and the Professional Edition. The Personal Edition is free. So you can use it however you want, wherever you want. It's pretty much mostly com feature complete. There's a few things missing, such as... Um, you know, team license, analytics, performance reports, that kind of stuff. Uh, their cloud subscription -y stuff is not part of the personal edition. But for the most part, it is the same product as Pro. Now, the biggest restriction there is you need to have a splash screen made with Unity, and you need to have less than $100,000 a year game-derived revenue. So those two are definitely the big gotchas on the personal. And it's mostly on the professional that the price change is gonna happen. Now the professional pricing works from, starting from $75 a month. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, right now, oops, wrong spot, wrong spot. All right, I guess I have to click that link. Right now, that means $75 a month for Unity Pro. And Unity Pro enables you to target the various desktops uh, and potentially a couple other platforms such as HTML5, etc. Um, if you need to support mobile, you also have to pay $75 per month for iOS and $75 a month for Android. So specifically, if you're doing all three packages, so if you're doing desktop clients, web, um, pro, sorry, um, iOS and Android, you'd be looking at $225 a month. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey, what about just buying it outright? Well, that is an option today. Uh, and that is where Unity Pro, their, their naming convention here really sucks now. Uh, but Unity Pro standalone, I guess we'll call it. You can be purchased for $1,500 flat rate, which will receive updates until March the 3rd, 2017. Um, and then you can get the iOS add-on for $1,500 and the uh, Android add-on for $1,500. So if you just want to do desktop development, it's $1,500 bucks with no additional requirements. You can make as much money as you want, etc. Now, when you need to have both... Um, iOS and Android on top, now you're looking, oh sorry, I didn't mean per month, flat rate. Whereas if you had iOS and Android on top, you're looking at a flat rate cost of $4,500. So all three platforms on a monthly basis, you're looking at $225 a month. Uh, for buying it outright, you're looking at $1,500 to $4,500 outright purchase costs. And then of course there's Unity Pro, which is free if you make up to $100,000. Okay, so that is the basics of how Unity is priced today. Now going forward, it gets a little bit more confusing. So let's bring up the graphic they released today. Now we're going to have free stays free. So free is pretty much unchanged uh, with one or two exceptions. First off, I think the UI editor skin is now no longer going to be an option. So I think the, the personal version currently gets this and no longer will. Now what they've done is they've tiered off a new tier for $35 per developer per month. You can now with the same revenue limitation, so the whole um, $100,000 a year or less revenue, if you're in that category and have a splash screen, but you want to have access to betas, oh no, beta's still there, the UI skin, the reporting, um, oops, uh, let's see, that's it. I thought there was actually analytics. Yep, so and analytics are built in there. So you can pay $35 a month to have extra access. Now something else they've snuck in here is multiplayer now has this limitation based off the number of players. I don't think that was part of it before. So now you're looking at $20, uh, sorry, 20 concurrent users as your limitation for free, 50 concurrent users for limitation for plus, Pro now has 200 and then Enterprise has um, custom or you negotiated. We'll get to Enterprise in a second. 
So there's this new tier basically, which is personal, uh, plus you can now have UI scanning, uh, ads, uh, analytics, and they're basically their cloud services access at $35 a month. Really nothing to get outraged about there. It's just a new option. So you can pay $35 a month for Unity's cloud access, basically. And then this multiplayer limitation, which is kind of crap across the board. On top of that, then, we now have the Pro License. It's now $125 per seat per month. And before, if you recall, the Pro License was $75 a month. $125 a month. Okay, so this is worse and this is better. So this is where some people will benefit and some people certainly won't. What they've done is they've gotten rid of iOS and Android licensing. So now it's flat rate. So this is actually for some developers, $100 a month cheaper. So if you were before paying $75 for the base, $75 for iOS and $75 for Android, you were paying $225 before, now you're paying $125. So you, if you are in that demographic, you win from this pricing change. So if you are making desktop iOS and Android applications, Unity on a monthly basis just got cheaper, period. So that part is great news. Um, finally, we have the enterprise pricing. Enterprise has actually always kind of been there. It's just never been quantified. If you want access to the source code, you want one-on-one uh, -on -one dealings with um, Unity, you need special support, etc. Basically, it's the contact us license. Well, that's, that's what enterprise is. So enterprise has always kind of been there. They're just kind of codifying it now, I guess you could say. So really, that is the change. Now, one thing you might be asking is, hey, wait a minute, what about non-subscription licenses? Yeah, here is the rub. Let's go to the announcement and I'll read you something. So this is the blog post for the new announcement. You'll notice here in the yellow. Customers with perpetual licenses can continue on their current license for as long as they like, but we will stop supporting Unity 5 perpetual licenses with new features and updates by March the 3rd, 2017. What that says is you can no longer just buy Unity. So people that were just buying it outright, you're screwed. It doesn't exist anymore. Hasta la vista. That's going to piss some people off. No doubt about it. They've gone to a 100% software as a service license. It's kind of the trend. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I don't know what side of the fence I'm on, to be honest. But generally, I like their old solution. More choice is better. And choice just went away. And choices went away on a lot of levels. So right now, if you wanted to just create a desktop game, you used to be able to do it for 75 bucks. Now it's 125 Again, if you, now adding iOS and Android support is kind of, um, you know, almost free to you. Basically, it's $50 a month more that you're paying, but you're getting that for free. So as I said, it's going to work out well for some people, not so much as others. So essentially, that is it. That is the changes we're seeing in Unity pricing. These are the new prices. Uh, again, not ideal. And then what I don't like as a trend, something that a lot of people haven't really been picking up on, is this plus tier that they've gone into, is how many new features and, and functionalities that are gonna start being thrown into that. And then suddenly the free tier is going to become less and less and less, you know, the same as the pro tier because they got this plus tier in the middle and they're gonna have to value add to get people to subscribe to it. And I think that is gonna be where things get worse for sure. Um, now this product pack is an interesting concept. So you do get one project pack per quarter. Uh, with the plus license. So in some ways it could actually uh, break even in cost. So you're getting stuff from the content store included with that license. And it's also part of your pro license. So that's that's definitely an improvement there for sure. Um, they're also actually giving uh, access to their courseware. I mentioned that a couple weeks back. Basically Unity is getting into training people. Uh, how that licensing is gonna turn out, I don't know. Uh, but you know, I, I don't really have a judgment on that one either way. I don't I don't know if that's good or bad for the industry overall. I don't even know how to really sum up this pricing at the end of the day. I know if you're a desktop only developer or an iOS only developer or an Android only developer, yeah, it's not great. Uh, if you were a perpetual licensed person, it stinks. For everyone else, for most of you, probably it's either about the same, especially if you're a personal licensee or probably just a little bit better actually. So really where this goes all kind of depends on what your perspective of the situation is. All right, so that's it. There's gonna be a lot of outrage, no doubt, for the people that are affected. Um, it's some people it's gonna be much ado, much ado about nothing. I guess we'll see how this turns out. All right, that was it. See you all later. Goodbye.